the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter f4.5 and the 50 millimeter f1.8. Two completely different ends of the spectrum, but combined with the kit lens, an excellent trio for any beginner. So let's start here with the 10 to 18 millimeter. Look at how wide this is. It's ridiculous. And it's not that far away from me. And in fact, there is so much in this shot, I actually had to clean up my room a little bit. I make all these videos in the wintertime in this little section of my house right here. But as you can see here, the, oh, the width of this is amazing. Now the downside to the 10 to 18 millimeter is that it is not great in low light situations because the maximum aperture is f4.5. Okay, which is why in contrast to the 50 millimeter f1.8, these two lenses are completely opposite in, the, in their great lenses to buy together because they are so different. And as a beginner, they give you so many different options. This is excellent for anybody going on vacation, for architecture, for landscapes, for any kind of even, you could even use this for real estate on a crop sensor. It's got image stabilization built in, which makes it excellent for vlogging. All right, so we can't talk about crop sensor lenses without talking about the 10 to 18 millimeter. One of the widest that you can get. The nice thing about this is that it has image stabilization. So here, let's come over here and see how it looks. Extremely lightweight, travels really well. It's all plastic, which makes it lightweight. Unfortunately, it also means it's not the best build quality, but for that price, for getting two excellent lenses, you're mostly getting this lens to get as much in the shot as you can. And for a beginner, it's great to get out and experiment with. And for that price, for $329, and it's probably the same price at a lot of different places. It's probably the same on Amazon, which I'll link in the description below. It's probably the same at Best Buy, B&H Photo, all these different sites probably have it close to the same price right now. So let's switch it over to the 50 because it, you know, this is a little more than I wanted to show for this video, but I want to show you just how wide this lens really is. Now let's talk about the 50 millimeter that I have on here now. I'm actually crouched down a little bit, so I'm in the shot because I didn't want to change anything at all. I wanted to show you exactly the differences here between these two and what you get when you get them. And this is for video. Now the advantages to the 50 millimeter f1.8 is that huge f1.8 aperture to start with. 1.8 gives you this really huge blurry background, the huge separation between the subject and the background. And this is right here. I mean, it's not like this is way back. If this was really far back, I, I can understand why it would be so blurry, but it's not. It's literally right here. I can touch it as you can see. So it blurs it at something out that close to me. Okay. And on a crop sensor, like I'm using now the, the, uh, 90D, it is actually, you know, a lot more than 50 millimeters, 50 times 1.6. So that's the focal length that you're actually getting. So you're going to get an excellent portrait lens with this, with this kit here. The 50 millimeter is just amazing for portraits. So I know I kind of sell, sound a little salesman -y right now, but these are the first some of the first two lenses I got. The first lens I actually got was the 24 millimeter f2.8. The second lens I got was the 50 millimeter f1.8. And I believe the third lens I got was the 10 to 18 millimeter. And right around there, that's how I went. And I know I paid a heck of a lot more than $329 for the 50 and the 10 to 18 combined. So I just, I'm just, I see these good deals. I know a lot of you guys out there are new and you're always looking for, you know, what lens should I get next? Well, start with this little package here. Yeah, that'd be my recommendation. You know, I had a question earlier today that I answered. Somebody asked me, what lens should I get? I'm going on vacation. I was like, you know, it's hard to say just one lens. And, and the question was, what lens should I get? I'm going on vacation for under $500. So I, I looked, I actually got on and did some research for them and I found this package right here, 329 for these two. And I'm not kidding when I say that is a heck of a deal. Again, I'll link it in the description below. Um, but if you are near anything, Best Buy, like I said, B&H, wherever you would buy, I think they even have this at Target, this kit. Uh, you know, you might wanna check there. If you're out of the United States, wherever you would shop for this stuff, you know, good luck. That's it guys, thank you for watching. Uh, hey, happy new year. It's a uh, 2020 is coming up here, huh? 
boy, I, I remember when it was 2010, uh, when it turned 2010, it, then I had three kids and now where did the time go? I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, happy new year and, uh, see you soon.